and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, we're going to take a look at using the Hall Effect Sensor Module. Now, this particular little board uh, can be found on eBay, Amazon, lots of places online. And it's very common if you buy one of those all-in-one sensor pack kits, you should get this in there. And it's very easy to use the Arduino. Um, I'll go over uh, how we hook it up and uh, I'll show you how it works and then we'll discuss how to use it with the Arduino. So what we have here is the negative side is marked with the negative. The signal or the sensor or the signal, whatever you want to call it, has an S and that's this pin here and the middle pin is positive voltage. Um, this works with 5 volt, no problem with the Arduino, and I am pretty sure it will also work with 3.3 volts as well. I don't see why it would not. All right, I'm going to demonstrate it working here, and then we'll go over how to use it with an Arduino. So I have a little simple little circuit I put together here. It's just a 5 volt power supply I built. And I got an LED with a current limiting resistor, and I got voltage coming in. That's all there is. Plug the board in, so the the signal pin goes directly through that resistor to the LED, which goes to ground, and then the ground and the positive go to the corresponding pins on the module board. When no magnetic field is present, the signal will be high. This is digital. It'll either be a digital low or digital high. There's no in-betweens on this. It's either all the way on or all the way off. With no magnetic field, it is on. When a magnetic field is brought into proximity, it goes to digital low or off. And I'm using some earth magnets, some neomidiums, so you can actually don't have to get that super close. A regular magnet, you're gonna have to get a little bit closer. And it's also polarity dependent. If I put the wrong south pole or the north pole, I'm not uh, positive which side is facing up. I'd have to look at the data sheet for the module, which is available online. If you need it, you can look it up. But as you see, it is pole dependent and it will work from both sides. But from straight up above, it doesn't always want to work. You kind of have to be off to the side. So that's how we use it. To use it with an Arduino board is super simple. You just do a digital read on whatever pin you have the, the, the signal pin connected to. And uh, then you use that in your sketch. When there's no magnetic field present, the, the pin will read high. When a magnetic field is in proximity of the Hall effect sensor, the digital pin will read low. If you do not know how to do digital reads, um, you should be learning that before you proceed to play around with this module. I have um, a beginner's lessons, check my channel. I have a whole series on learning Arduino for beginners. So if you're new to this and need some help learning it, uh, please check those videos out. All right. Well, that's all there is to using a Hall Effect sensor with an Arduino board. So thanks for joining us here today. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. So, uh, well, have a great day. And uh, remember, have fun.